Need to make a build in D2 and don't know where to start? Then use D2 Armor Picker by Mijago. This tool is a giant calculator of all the armor in your inventory and vault to help you perfect each build you make and get those sweet double or even triple 100 stat builds. However, first time users can get a little overwhelmed. So let's walk through it together. First, the tool needs to see what's in your inventory and vault, so it'll have to log you into whatever platform you play on. Pick your platform and log in. You should then see the home screen here. Now, before you do anything, I would recommend double checking that these advanced settings near the bottom of the page are enabled. Under the masterwork section, I like to have assume all legendary, exotic, and class items are masterwork enabled. Masterworking an armor piece gives you a total of plus 12 stats. So if you're masterworking your gear, which you ideally should if you have the materials to, then the tool will take that plus 12 stats into account on every armor piece that you have, even if it's not masterworked yet. This is good for future proofing your builds as you progress in your journey and gather more materials if you don't already have them. Next, head back up to the top and select the character you're making the build for. In this example, I'll use my warlock. Then head over to the exotic section and select the exotic armor piece you plan on building around. In this example, I'll use Starfire Protocol. After that, scroll down a little to the stat boost selection. Here you need to pick whatever subclass you're going to use in the build and also all of the fragments that have a stat boost or stat penalty so that the tool can also grab that for its calculation. So for my Starfire Protocol build, I use Ember of Benevolence and Ember of Searing, so I'll enable both of those. The other two fragments I use in the build are Ember of Ashes and Ember of Resolve, but they do not have a stat boost or reductions, so you will not see them here in the tool, so it's totally fine. Now you're ready to pick the stats you want to have for your build. Head back up toward the top of the page and pick the stats that you want for your build. Here you can play around and see what possible combinations that you are able to get with the stat selections that you are trying to build for, and the tool will give you results here on the right in these drop down formats. Sticking with my Starfire Protocol PVE example, I want 100 resilience and as much discipline and recovery as I'm able to get. And boom, look at that. I'm able to get triple 100 stats for this build. And again, on the results tab in the right, you see that with my selections, it has generated eight possible combinations and you can see all the different combinations here in these drop down menus. The topmost results tend to be the most stat efficient. And as you go downwards, they will become less stat efficient. Not a huge deal, but just something to keep in mind. So pick whatever combo you want and you'll see the total material cost to masterwork all the armor pieces if they are not yet and it will show you the total stats for all six categories you will have once complete. From here you can open the loadout in dim to apply it to your character in game. Continuing with the example let's click open loadout in dim. So you can see we are now in dim and we can begin to customize the rest of the loadout. First, I'm going to pick my class item that I use for every build since class items don't have stats. And next, I'm just going to customize the rest of my subclass and click save. From here, you can choose any weapons you want to use and also click save. From here, you can give it any name that you want and then click save. From here, I like to click apply on the build so I can masterwork any armor pieces that need to be and fix up my mods and fashion in game. You can also refer back to your selection in D2 Armor Picker to show you which mods that you need in order to get the stats that you want so that you can curate that for yourself in game. So for here, I need three major mods of resilience, two major recovery mods, two artifice mods in resilience, and one artifice mod in discipline to get these triple 100 stats. I don't think I need to explain how to do any of those. So once you get your mods and fashion and masterwork your gear complete in game, open up dim and refresh it until the top loadout at the top called equipped refreshes to reflect what you have on in game. Now what you can do is click the three dots in the top right corner of the mod section and hit sync from equipped to apply them to the build instantly. 
You can do the same thing with your armor to apply your fashion to the build and even your artifact mods if you really want. And that's it. Hit save and you're done. You can now apply that build to your character when in orbit or at the tower. I hope you enjoyed today's video on D2 Armor Picker. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and comment and consider subscribing to the channel for more Destiny 2 tips, tricks, and guides. As a reminder, if you want to stay up to date on my content and live streams, feel free to join my Discord server. Also, if you want to join a community of guardians to hang out with, make friends, find people to play D2 with, and get PvE help from me, feel free to join Join the notorious destiny community we're a growing community of guardians welcome to those of all skill levels links are in the description thanks for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one